guys, so I just wanted to make a little update video again, because I just like making videos. Because my mom, she's on the computer uploading, like, listing items on eBay to sell, so it's tools, because we kind of don't have that much money right now, and tools are worth a lot of money, and my dad, before he committed suicide, he actually collected tools, and it was like, he had, his garage was full of tools, it had like, like, those big giant toolboxes, like, he had a long, long black one that was like, really big, and then like, another red one, and another one red, red one, and then like a Mac tool chair, a toolbox chair, like, it's like a, it has that Mac, like, Mac tools, like, logo on it, and then it was like a chair, and it was like, spinning and stuff, and yeah, he has so much stuff, like, it's not even funny, <laughs> it was like, the whole garage took up, he had, like, his little tool collection, whenever he was sad or something, he got tools, and actually, um, before, he actually wanted to be a tool man, to sell tools instead of Army Navy Outlet, because we just started an Army Navy Outlet, and it didn't work, because we didn't have that much money, so, but he followed his dreams, and he gave it a shot. And, well, maybe I should make this video about my dad's suicide because updates are kind of just the same thing. It's either I'm doing really well, I'm doing really bad, I'm purging less, I'm purging more, I lost weight, I gained weight, or something like that. It's kind of, you know, it's like a roller coaster. I kind of want to make this more of a, you know, topic video. I should really try and make more topic videos because I know they're a lot more fun to watch than updates, to me at least. And I love watching Reagan May's videos, like, something about her voice just like it makes me like relax i used to actually while i was binging i would just listen to her talk it just like relaxed me and made me think it was okay but then once i was ready to purge i was like i don't want to do this you know like i was like oh, i don't want to do this why is it even you know like that kind of thing so yeah um so it happened in sixth grade he was a really nice guy he was in love with tools like crazy that's okay though he had all these shirts that were like Mac Tools, Snap On, and the other one, Craftman or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, and my brother kind of took after him. But um, then basically we were having a lot of financial troubles. Like we lived in a really nice house, but we never bought it. We just rented it. Um, the rent was the first house we moved into was really crappy. Um, we used to not even live in a house. It was like we used to live in a store, and this is a very nice, kind, old lady named Lou, and she let us live there while we worked there. Like, he had his own store in there, and she was very kind for letting us live there, so we wouldn't have lived anywhere. And we slept in the cot in the Army Navy outlet in a store, so, yeah, it's kind of cool. I kind of liked it. It's kind of like a sleepover kind of thing, you know? And then I remember this one time, we had, like, this big, giant bubble wrap paper. It was so huge, and I, like, I stepped on them, and I, I fell on them, and it made popping sounds, and my grandma, my mom's gra my mom's mom, she was, like, laughing at me, because <laughs> she stayed there for the store sometimes. So, yeah, um, and we just had a lot of financial troubles, um, because... My mom hadn't gone to college yet, and my dad went to college for something, but it wasn't what he was working on right now. So, um, then my mom went to college, and she graduated. She got a job as a lab tech, which is a very good job to have. Pays about $2,000 a month, I think. I'm not sure. It's, I think it's something like that. So, it's pretty good paying. Um, and, um, we were able to live in a really nice, like, huge... Oh my gosh, huge lob cabin. I had my own, like, TV room, and I'd spend the whole night in there. It was so awesome. Like, we didn't have internet, but I just, I found peace there. And I had, like, my nice, like, pink room. It was huge. I had this walk-in closet, and my mo my brother and I had our own bathroom. My mom and dad had their own bathroom. It had, like, a whirlpool, whirlpool in it. Then we had to move out of there because it was really expensive, like three thousand three thousand dollars a month and we couldn't we could we just couldn't afford it. So we moved into another house and then we moved into another house and this house not this house, it's another one, it was a thousand dollars a month. It was so nice. Like we had three stores, I had my own room, I had my I had my own living room and my own bathroom and it was just really nice. I didn't have my own shower but so uh, I could use my mom and dad's which was really big and they had like a whirlpool. So yeah. And we were kind of, we lived in a really nice house. And then, um, basically, Dad didn't have enough money. He was always talking about how we didn't have enough, you know, like, to pay the bills and things. And he would, he would usually come home kind of, you know, sad and depressed. 
and just not in a good mood. You know, like when your mom or dad has a hard time at work, they're just, you know, like you are after a long day at school, you're like, screw everyone, give me a nap, you know, that kind of thing. And he couldn't make enough money, and it kind of just gave him a lot of stress. So, um, I think my mom used to actually cheat on him, um, a lot actually, and he saw that a lot, and they fight about it a lot. Once my dad actually hit my mom, because he was so frustrated, and he was crying, and he was, say he was saying he was going to kill himself, and I didn't believe him. And they said that they were going to get a divorce, but they never did. They worked it out. They always worked it out because they thought my mom thinks family is very important, which it is. So she really didn't want to break up the family because of relationships. And I, I really like dad, honestly. I like dad more than mom because he was, he was always like, Lauren, 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 L-A-U-R-E-N, what's up, though? Beetlebug, Beetlebug. He always called me Beetlebug. That's why I like call myself Beetlebug sometimes. I don't know. I don't like when people call me that. I only like when he calls me that. So, yeah. Um, basically, I went to bed and he was like, okay, this one day, I was with my friend Kirsten. We were going roller skating. This was in sixth grade. He was, like, he looked kind of like a really nice dad that, like, was very caring. But he was just really sad, and I didn't know that. And I didn't understand. He told me something about how mom is, like, when she was watching Lady Gaga music video, Brad Romance, he loved that song. He was just, like, <laughs> singing that all the time and singing it with him. So, yeah. Um, and he would just, like, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm, like, forgetting what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, like, making sure I have enough time on here. I'm, like, I have, like, 18 minutes. Yay. Okay, um, so he was really sad. And we were in the car, and he was saying something like, something about how he couldn't handle it or something. How mom always, like, cheated on him or something. And, um, I don't know for sure, but I've seen a lot of messages that my mom sends up got. So, I'm pretty confident that she has cheated on him a lot. And she sent letters to other guys, text messages. One night, he was reading her text messages on her phone, and... I didn't know, like, I was too young to understand what was happening. If I would be as mature as I, okay, I'm, I'm going to leave that for later. But we were in the car, and I was just like, just get over it. I was in sixth grade. I was goth. I didn't understand it. Like, I understand him being sad, but I never thought about killing myself, you know? And I didn't think he'd actually do it. He never told me that he was going to kill himself. And then one night, well, that was the same night, I went on a bike ride went home. Best bike ride. I was getting skinny because I was like thinking that I was getting a little fat. And like one day just not overeating. I was already flat stomach. So mm, weird. Anyways, that's kind of like different. But um, he had chicken. His favorite meal. Skin, like the skin chicken, you know, the chicken that has the skin on it. He had that, and I kept on saying, I, I put salad with my chicken, and I was like, this will be a lot healthier. I should have shut the fuck up. Like, that is not nice. And he went on bike rides and walks with me, and he was like, I gotta stay in shape. And I'm like, yeah, I look that. He's always like, he just looks muscular. Like, he might be a bigger guy, but he's muscular and strong. Um, so, he went on walks and bike rides with our family, and we, went, we were such a good family, but now I just feel like our family is, like, weird. And then the same night, it was a Monday, I went to bed, and, like, I went out of the shower, and I, okay, he was saying, I was in the shower, and then he was like, I was like, where are you going? He's like, to a store. I was like, okay, bye. That was the last thing I said to him. And then I showered, I got out, he was in his room talking to mom, and he looked, I don't know, I didn't really understand it, and he closed the door, I just walked back upstairs, went in my room, at like 10.40, I woke up. My brother ran upstairs, and he was screaming at me that Dad committed suicide. I was like, what? What? You know? And I was running downstairs. I ran downstairs, and he was laying there below my staircase, dead with blood, gun. You know, he shot, like, up there. So hard to seem like that. I screamed. And then I, like, I took the gun, and I, like, went, like, why? Why? You know? Like, I was so frustrated, and I didn't really... I don't think I cried at the time because I didn't understand it. I didn't really cry until the next day and I didn't really get any sleep. 
And then he actually, I think he told he told mom that he called that he was c kind of killed himself and then killed himself while on the phone with her because the phone was still on. So that must have been really scary for my mom. So yeah. Um, we couldn't live in that house anymore because it was a it was a thousand dollars a month, and we didn't have. It was only my mom giving us, supporting us now, so we didn't have like you know, a million dollars to spend on a house. We had to move out. We moved into an apartment, and before we went into the apartment, I actually got five days off school for it. I didn't realize why, because I was like obsessed with this guy named Chris, and I was like, why, why, why? I want to see him tomorrow. I want to see him. Like I was like so obsessed. I wrote like tens of journals about him and everything. I wanted to like have a connection with him. Just, it was crazy. And I don't like him like that anymore. I'm happy that I'm over him. I was just wasting my time. I invented, I invented this thing called cross-eye disease where you were like, oh my gosh, crack, 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 like that. So yeah, I was kind of like really in love and obsessed. So yeah. Anyways, I like forgot what I was talking about. I'm so sorry. Oh yeah, so we, we went at my mom's mom's house until we could find an apartment. I really wanted a cat. We couldn't get one though because the landlord, we told them the situation, but you know, you don't want to ruin the house, so the apartment, so we didn't get one. We lived in that apartment for a while and I wasn't really sad by it. I didn't understand how he was gone and I was just kind of confused. Like, I was like, he's still here, isn't he? Like, and some nights when I was crying really hard about it, I feel like this. I'm not even kidding. I would feel someone touch my shoulder. Once I actually woke up to him touching my shoulder or someone and I screamed really loud and I was like, it's okay. Like, I was like, <laughs> scared. And then I had some dreams about him once when he was in the lunchroom at school. I hugged him, but he felt like he was broken. And then once I was in the car with him or something, and then once he was going to kill himself in the dream, we were like in an ice age place. And I was like, no, dad, come on, it'll be okay, we can just move into an apartment. And I was really trying hard to, like, save him because I wanted to save him really bad. I felt like if I would have, like, stayed downstairs and, like, give him a hug, but, like, now, if I would have known what I know now, I could probably save his life because I know exactly what to say to people when they're sad. And I would really be able to help him if I knew what I, if I knew what I know now. Like, and, yeah, I just, I feel bad about it. Because I could have prevented it. That's how everyone feels when someone dies. Um, so yeah, and then my mom was really sad about it. She probably felt like it was her fault because she was cheating on him. So, I can understand her pain. She feel like she killed someone, basically. She didn't. It was the sadness that killed him. He died of a broken heart. And ever since then, I used to be really close to my dad's side of grandma and grandpa's but ever since he, he died I like barely talked to them because they're so depressing now well my grandma isn't that depressing but my grandpa is and it's just like I can't they're so triggering because they bring me like gummy snacks which is really nice but my bulimia um I can't have that around others yeah um they don't even know and they always ask me, where's your meat? You gotta get protein. You could eat only apples for the rest of your life and not be protein deficient. Because there is a small amount of protein in apples. And you only need like 30 grams of protein a day. So, for the average person. And that's all from plant-based foods. There's not one ingredient from meat-based things that you can't get from plant-based things. And so, yeah. And actually, the sulfur and the acids and the amino acids and the complete proteins, which are from soy and animal products, will actually leach the calcium from your bones and your pee out through your urine. So, yeah. It took me a while to understand what that meant, but I totally get it now. So, I'm kind of changing the subject again, so I'm going to go back to my dad. Um, I've had dreams about him a lot, and I think he's just trying to tell me that he's okay. I think that he went around to everyone and gave everyone, like, a dream. And I just... I miss him because my family was so much better with him here and I didn't have an eating disorder I would never think that I would have had an eating disorder like I never 
thought I wasn't I wasn't the kind of girl. Like I wasn't the kind of girl. I tried starving before. I lasted a day and I gave up. And then tried throwing up once. Cause after I read this book just a minute. The first time in seventh grade for when I when I read this book about perfect, it's about a girl, Isabel with bulimia. And her friend, I forgot what her friend's name was, but they're both bulimic, and she's, like, friends, and she makes friends with a popular girl in school that's, like, skinny and pretty and has, like, a million friends, and she's, like, bulimic, too, so, yeah, it's kind of a good story, but I want to see what the gift she gets at the end of the story is. I always want to know what a gift is, because, like, when you tell someone they're going to get a gift, you want to know what it is, like, you're just, like, what's under that paper, <laughs> you know what I mean, so, yeah, um, but after I read this the first time, I was, like, I'll do this once a week. I'll throw up. Um, I tried it, but I went over the sink, too. I never used a toilet. I, even when I started, like, a little less than, a, like, half a year ago, I went on the sink and I did it in the sink. I know. And I didn't even get everything up. Good thing I didn't. Um, yeah. Because I have, I've had a problem with overeating. And it's kind of my way of fixing the problem. So, yeah. But I just didn't even want to do it again. I was like, this is never going to be me. There's no way I'm going to have an eating disorder. Look at me now. Yeah. Um. So, I just hope that I will see my dad soon. And I, I never thought that I was the kind of girl that would want to kill herself. I'm just like, I would never kill myself over something that's just stupid. But then, like, a year after my dad died, around April, I got really sad. And it was because my brother was abusing me at the time. And my mom was calling me self-absorbed. And I, I wasn't self-absorbed at all. Um, and now I think I'm more self-absorbed than I've ever been in this eating disorder. And I don't mean to, but I can't really help it. I'm trying to. But all I can think about. So, yeah. Um... What was I going to say? Oh yeah, I was really sad. I actually thought about killing myself. I looked up, I want to kill myself. And I was like really sad. And this person on there, and they're like, I love you. And I just started crying. And I talked myself out of it. But then I was like, okay, before 8th grade starts, I'm going to kill myself. I'm going to get this over with. I never did. And I was happy. I had gained all this weight. And then, probably around January, I just was sick of being fat. I was exercising and eating, but I still overate. And I ate, like, Atkins protein bars as snacks, which isn't good because it has a lot of different ingredients. Like, you just you should just eat clean if you're trying to diet or lose weight. Don't have, like, those diet bars because they're not going to do you any good in the long run. So, yeah. Definitely not slim fast. They're not. They just make you crave, crave more, and those things are so good that I just ate the whole thing at once. And they're not satisfying at all. So, <clears throat> yeah. Um, eating disorder developed. I think my weight loss was a, um, losing weight was a way to distract me from the pain. Because I gained weight over the, over the summer after my dad died. And I tried to lose it, and it was like a focus kind of thing I could do instead of focusing on my dad's death. I kind of never think about it, so I kind of like distract myself, and I don't want myself to think about it, because if I do, I start crying, and like right now, I wouldn't cry about my dad, but like, while I'm having a panic attack, I'll feel so lonely, and I like, I cry and say I miss him so much, and things like that, and I like, need to hug someone, because I'm so alone and like, in this panic attack, so yeah, um, so my weight loss was a way to distract myself from the pain. Now, all the pain is, is weight loss and weight gain. Weight loss and weight gain. Throwing up, starving, binging, everything. It's just, I think this happened because my dad died. And he didn't want me to be happy, but I'm not having suicidal thoughts anymore. I never thought I would, but I actually started having suicidal thoughts, like, this year. Like, true, real, dark suicidal thoughts. And I didn't realize that telling people 
would actually make them worry about you and would make you get sent away. And I didn't realize that I told the doctors that I was throwing up like at least five times a day. Well, I mean up to, not at least goodness, up to five times a day on my really bad days. I didn't realize that sent me that they could, they have the power now to send me somewhere. I should have kept it a secret how much I was doing it so then if it got like, I could lose a little bit of weight, and they wouldn't send me somewhere until it got really bad. But now if I lose, even if I get to, like, 98 on their scales, probably be sent somewhere. My mom would probably just make a deal with me if you don't start eating. I don't care about if you lose weight or uh, gain weight or anything, but if you start eating again, you'll be fine, and I won't send you anywhere. But if you don't eat, then I'm sending you somewhere if you lose any more weight. So that technically, I could get to like 90 pounds and not 8 pounds, because I have 5 pound dumbbell things. I'll show you guys them. <clears throat> okay, so these are so light, they're like 2.5 pounds. I'm not sure if these are the other 5 pounds, or if they're each like 2, like if together they're 2.5, but they are so light. I did jumping jacks and jump squats with them. And then I like to use these. These are like, together they're only one pound. So I'll wear these with like sweatpants when I get weighed. I haven't done it yet because I haven't needed to. I'm trying to keep it as natural with like water weight and like wet hair and mo most clothes I can as possible before I start using these. Because I want to see how much weight it can add before using those. And then these, these are Snickers. Oh, that was from that binge I had. And I got in trouble for it. Okay, so these are the thing. Like these are five pounds. I'm not sure if they're five pounds together or five pounds apart, but put these around with this. But they're kind of big, so it'd be hard to disguise them. I'll get some really baggy pants. So I can lose a lot of weight. These things. So yeah, I'm sorry if I just triggered someone. Like, I'm really sorry. And I actually made my own, like, measure thing. And it's for your waist and your thighs. You know, like, that kind of thing. So, yeah. I'm gonna end this. Just call, I was just gonna call it a book because I'm thinking about this book. So, I'm gonna end this video. Hope you guys are doing well. Wish me luck losing weight. I was 105 yesterday. And now I'm 101, so... And it was like a huge fluctuation. I hope I'm like 100 tomorrow. In this morning, I had a really like bad start. I had a salad, which I wasn't supposed to have. And then I had, um, I had these walnut, like almond, blueberry, pomegranate, like nut things from Girl Scouts. Finished on those tried to throw it up, but, like, I'm not sure what came up, salad or gum, calcium supplements, or the salt, or the nuts, but I'm not sure, and then I had some, like, bread, like this crust bread, like, you know the dried bread that's in, like, crumbs, yeah, like that stuff, I mixed it with water, I warmed it up, and then I was like, you know what, I'm spitting and chewing this, I did, um, my mom saw it, and she's like, what is this? I'm like, oh, it's this soup I'm making. Worst lie ever. But she was just like, don't throw it up. And I'm like, I'm not. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't actually going to throw it up. I was spinning it up, so. Yeah, um, I'm going to go now. Bye. So, yeah, bye. Have a good day.